project I'm using these two yarns together one is a kind of fur and this is the label and the other one is a normal wool this is its label I hope you can see the feature because it's not so clear because of this light back, uh, background I think it's about 50% virgin wool and the rest should be acrylic okay I'm working these two yarns together like that you see this way with a seven millimeters crochet hook this way okay now I'm trying to explain you um, our project our coat is made of three pieces two identical one plus plus one for the front and just one piece for the back so you have to take the measure of your hip or of your chest but only if your chest is bigger than the hip and the measure of the hip will be this length because we will start working from the bottom going up to the shoulder okay we can decide if giving a slim style or work with just a rectangle if you have a big chest it is better to do a rectangle um, on the contrary you can also work giving a slim style big, bigger on the bottom and um, smaller on the shoulder and around the chest i will give you instructions during this tutorial for both situations then of course we have to do uh, another two pieces two halves for the front and of course starting always from the bottom up to the shoulders and of course this length will be the, the half of this one okay we have then an opening for the neck and then for the um, sleeves um, we will first join the three pieces together of course we will skip this area for the armholes and we will attach with a new yarn and we will do the sleeves like that okay so it's very easy Okay, we are starting from the back side so you have to do a chain foundation chain long enough like the half of, of your circumference in my case is 50 centimeters so I'm doing 50 chains for the length of 50 centimeters next row an additional chain to turn and uh, sorry two and three chains to turn 
and in the first chain from the hook. Double crochet one. And now double crochet one in each one of the stitch till the end of this row. Second row, two long chains, one and two, which take the place of the first double crochet. And into the second stitch, I'm going to repeat double crochet one in each double crochet of the previous round, row, sorry, like that, till the end of this row. And now continue working row after row, just doing double crochet one in each stitch across the row. Like that. When I am at 22 centimeters of height, I have to start giving a wasted shape to my back side. So I change my hook from 7 to 6 millimeters crochet hook and go on working normally on the same number of stitch but with a smaller hook. This will give, of course, a wasted shape, you see, to my, to my piece. Okay, after 30 nine rows my back side is ready and the length is sorry I just have to take my meter the length is 68 centimeters in inches is 60 is uh, uh, 26.5 inches Okay, so now I am ready to prepare the two front sides. Now we are ready to start the first uh, front side. So slip note to start. And in my case for um, uh, a, a length of 30 centimeters, I'm going to do 28 chains. Three, four, and five, your foundation six. chain for the front side is ready. Additional chain three, which take the place of the first double crochet, and in the first chain from the hook, I'm going to do double crochet one, and now double crochet one in each chain across the row okay when for my front side i reached the height of 65 centimeters it's time to create the neck for the front side so i have i know that i have to leave not worked nine centimeters so in my case you have to measure to measure nine nine centimeters nine centimeters is corresponding to 3.5 inches and 65 centimeters is corresponding to 25.5 inches so you have to skip 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches for the neck and so you have to measure and count how many stitches you have to skip. In my case I have to skip 9 stitches so 1, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, these stitches will be skipped, and on the tenth stitches, I'm putting my stitch marker because I know that now I have to start working a new row and I have to stop here on the last stitch I put the marker so I'm starting a new row with chain 2 into the second stitch double crochet so now I'm doing double crochet till I reach the last stitch of this row okay so when I reach the stitch marker this will be my last stitch then chain two and turn your work and now work for another two rows in my case in case of different yarn and hook size work uh, work for another six centimeters corresponding to six centimeter 2.5 inches okay after that you can cut the yarn and close your work and your front side with the neck is ready I'm taking the other front side to show you this is the other one and I can show you the opening for my neck okay okay my friends now we are ready to start the sleeve of this coat this is our armhole of course you have first to join the three pieces together and then after that you are ready to start the sleeves so you start from the bottom of the armhole insert your hook into the stitch take the new yarn pick up it pass it through the stitch chain one and now start with double crochet all the way around in my case with this yarn and hook size i did all the way around 35 double crochet but of course it depends on the yarn you are using and also the hook size number two is very easy because i just have to do chain one skip the same very first stitch where i should work i'm skipping this stitch and i'm doing a double crochet into the next one in this way i skipped one stitch so i decreased of one stitch we have to decrease one stitch at every new round for the sleeve till the end of um, of the wor of our work when our sleeve will be long enough for us so if at every um, beginning of the round you are skipping a stitch like i show you right now you are decreasing one stitch so do that in this case till round number 23 and in this way um, you have your sleeve ready okay now we are ready to do the collar so starting here from the corner between the front opening and the collar i'm inserting my hook 
in the corner pick up the yarn and pull it through chain one and now starting from this very first stitch I'm going to do single crochet all around the neck in order to create my collar single crochet one in each stitch across the row I have to do five rows like that doing single crochet one in each stitch across the row at the end of the row on the opposite side chain one turn your work and back for a second round of single crochet then again back the third one back the fourth one and back the fifth one okay totally i did for my collar 12 rows of single crochet like that totally and this is my collar 12 rows now we have to do the last refining rows with a new yarn now i will attach here at the bottom of the collar with a new yarn and i will do two rows two rounds sorry of single crochet starting from here going down on the opening front you see now i am at the bottom i will turn i will work all around the bottom of the coat and, and then coming back here on the front i will stop here chain one and turn for a second round identical of single crochet all the way around now i'm creating the color in black um, with the button uh, to close better the coat collar slip note to start and now chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in the second chain from the hook one and two i'm gonna do single crochet one and another eight single crochet one till i get the end of this row totally nine single crochet like that okay now chain one and turn into the very first stitch of this row i'm going to do the half double crochet one but inserting my hook into the back loop of the stitch like that and i'm gonna do nine half double crochet like that okay now continue row after row till you reach the right length for your collar At each new row you just have to repeat what we did by the second row so chain one turn your work and now into the back loop of each stitch you have to put one half double crochet like that okay 
Okay, when your collar is long, uh, 54 centimeter corresponding more or less to 21 inches you can stop doing half double crochet and do just the last row putting single crochet in each stitch across the row and you have finished okay this is the last row like that now we have to create the two holes for the buttons so chain one and turn one single crochet into the very first stitch like that chain two one and two skip the next two stitches into the next one single crochet one into the next one single crochet one into the next one single crochet one now again chain two one two skip the next two stitches into the last one single crochet one chain one and turn single crochet into the first single crochet of previous round single crochet two into the chains two space one and two single crochet three one two and three single crochet two into the chain two space one sorry one two and single crochet one into the last chain into the last sorry single crochet of this row so your neck collar is ready 